Give me a sense of topography, yeah. geography, because obviously you're sitting in a car right now for this interview. It's hammering yeah. down outside. Give me a sense of what you're dealing with. Yeah. What does it look like around you? Yeah, yeah. It's we've been um we've been sorry, let me just no, so the conditions we've been um walking obviously in the in the river, in the water, um ch chest high most of it as well. And um yeah, the 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 vast um area of the flood has been quite it's it's big. So it's debris everywhere, it's clothes everywhere, it's actually appliances lying around, cars lying around on their roofs. Um it's just it's it yes, you can see on the pictures there. But mm -hmm. we've had cars washed down the river about three Ks down and um we found some bodies in the cars, but um a lot of those people are still missing. What are we advising people to not make your life more difficult? Because often people come to these areas to try and, and find their loved ones. They try and see if family members are in danger. But, Teresa, you and I know that actually just makes your job more difficult, doesn't it? It, it actually does. We advise the, the community. We've had a few... Um, we've actually had a few um, of the community members that have been walking on the wide edges of the the river um in a safer area but then we we do advise the community to let us do the searching especially with the water flowing it's very it's very dangerous